I auditioned for American Idol for the second time. It was really fun. It was really dope. I love the experience. This is my, you know, second time doing it. I met um a lot of great people. I met a lot of great people, a lot of talented folks, man. Uh, I got attacked by a bee. We got attacked by some grasshoppers. We got attacked by some butterflies. Yes, y'all, we got attacked by butterflies. You heard me correctly. We got attacked by butterflies. And, um, yeah, it was at McCormick. It was at McCormick Place. And it was just, it was just so dope to be there because the time before when I did Idol, I was about 18 years old. And, um, I don't want to say that, that this person that I saw, I don't know if you guys know who Lee the Wise is. I'm, I'm saying his name right. But I remember when I was in my booth and I was 18 years old, and I know I just took it back. I'll bring it back up where we was at today about the grasshoppers and all that. But Lee the Wise, he won. He's from a part of um, Illinois, and he won, and I remember this guy singing, and i never forget it. i never forget it. I was 18 years old, and it was about 2009, and uh, i never forget it. I heard him singing, and I was like, who? And it's like, who is this man? Because everybody and their mama broke their damn neck. Everybody and their mama just broke their Everybody looked like Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like when you you hear something, you just like, mm. like wait a minute. But it was a good one. You know what I mean? It was it was like, damn, this guy this guy blowing. Like he sound good. And I to this day I think that was Lee. I think that was Lee. I remember this guy, this Caucasian guy, and I think that was Lee. And I never will forget the girl who cracked. Um, she was the first one to sing. It was the United Center. And uh, I never forget that. That was that was wow. But today was dope. Um, unfortunately, no, I did not make it to the next round. But I love the overall experience, and I had fun. You know, like I had fun. Um, and unfortunately, this is probably the last time that I can, you know, audition. But for Idol, unfortunately, because when it comes back around, I'll be too old. I'm becoming young old, y'all. Young old. You got to Millie Rock with it. Um, I'm trying to Millie Rock with one hand, but it ain't, ain't working out. But I sung um, 30 Seconds to Mars. I sung uh, Closer to the Edge. This one's 30 Seconds to Mars, Closer to the Edge. If you ever heard that song, go and Google that because it's, it's, it's fire. It's, oh, this is War, and that album is incredible to the mixes, to, to everything. That album is incredible. You need to listen to 30 Seconds to Mars, and this is War, the album. But I did Up in the Air, and I felt so confident about it because when I sung it, I drowned out the entire audience. Not the audience. I mean to say the audience. I drowned out the entire room. Because when they had us in there, we were in a room. And it's, uh, there are several auditions going on at one time. But when I sung cl closer to the edge, it's like the room was drowned out. So, when they were like, when they pulled me up to the table, because I've, Obviously, this is my second time. So, I know when they pull you up to the table and they tell a few of y'all to step forward and some of y'all stay where y'all at. Did you know, there's some cuts going on. And so, when they did that, I was like, oh, um, hmm. Well, gave it your own. And I did. I really went in there and it was a great performance. I think that was one of the strongest auditions I've ever had. Because I tell you, I drowned out the entire room. The entire room. I drowned everybody out. When I hit that, no, I'm not saying. When I hit that, then that, that, it was like the whole room just drowned out. 
that was one of my strongest auditions. There was a guy though that I had been standing there with. We've been standing there since four fifty, four forty five in the morning. I haven't been to sleep since like nine yesterday. It's uh six right now, so eh, I'm gonna kinda used to stuff like that, you know? It's part of the grind, you know? But he sung uh John Legend, um, All of Me and it sounded so good. Like I just knew. I knew he was going through. I'm like, he's going through because when he sung that, I was like producers and everybody just looked. I'm like, this guy's going through. You know what I mean? Even I told him, I'm like, dude, that was good. Like, you know, there was no denying that. Anybody anybody who would have heard that would have been like, that was really good. And he you know, he did and he went and so to to the executives and um unfortunately he didn't get through because they didn't like the the second so I told him to sing a second song and he sang the second song and they didn't like that. So that was unfortunate. Um But yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's always a lot of fun to see so many different people, so many different dreams, people coming from all different states and countries and it's 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 an experience I would say I would say tell any singer to have to do this is your dream. Follow your dreams, baby. And keep going. Keep rocking. Keep going strong. Live your life. Make music. And fo- and follow your dreams. And never give up. Don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. This was fun for me. You know what I mean? Like, how can I, I, I can't complain? I can never complain. I went in strong. And I feel like I ended strong. And that's what's most important. So... I just want to show y'all that, share that with you guys. Um, aside from the fact that I was being attacked by grasshoppers and butterflies. Yes, y'all, I was attacked by butterflies if I didn't say that earlier. I was attacked by butterflies. We was being attacked by bees, butterflies, grasshoppers, any little bug you could think of, mosquitoes, spiders. They was coming out the woodworks. I'm like, did somebody, who sent you? 